Hi, my name is David Bell. I'm with the Broster Company out of Beloit, Wisconsin, and today we're going to discuss the Broster Trademark Program as well as go through how to make our signature product, which is Genuine Broster Chicken, which this year happens to be 60 years old. What sets us apart is we're a trademark, we are not a franchise. With that said, we try to give you the feel and texture of a franchise. We have the uh, on-site store training. We have all the point of sale to help you pull that product through. The, the digital menu boards, everything you need in your environment to help you be successful with the chicken program. We just don't feel we need to charge you for that service. Uh, we feel we'll teach you how to, to serve the best products going and we'll come along for all the breading and marinades and boxes you sell. We don't need to charge you a percent of your gross to make you successful. With that said, I'm going to jump right into the, the demo of our Genuine Broster Chicken. There are two ways to source your fresh chicken for the Genuine Broster product. The first one is just to order a standard eight piece cut from your local vendor. The product will come into eight pieces. What you will need to do is get a marinating vat. I have vats that can hold up to 400 pieces. I have customers that actually marinate in five gallon pickle pails. Your volume is going to dictate your need on this. But when your fresh chicken comes in, we're gonna want to clean and trim it. In cleaning and trimming, we wanna grab each piece, give it a visual inspection. Uh, sometimes there's some, in, in the breast that I'm holding now, sometimes there is a little extra neck on top we'll want to clean off make sure there, there's no parts sticking to the inside on the legs again a visual inspection we just want to pull up the socks if you would make sure the skin's nicely covered in the wings we just again visual inspection we want to make sure there's no pin feathers anything sticking out the thighs there's usually a little work to you're going to have an extra flap of skin and fat we want to trim off towards the bottom we do want to pop our thumb in here dig the kidney out and we do want to snap the thigh bone once we do that our chicken can go right into our marinating vessel and we just simply mix six ounces of chickite which is the broster marinade to one gallon of cold tap water and we simply cover the, the, the chicken until it is completely submerged in the marination. We want to shoot for 10 to 14 hours or an overnight marination. We do not want to go longer than 24. Once we hit our overnight marinating time, we can simply just drain that product off. At that point, we will simply cover it in an airtight vessel until we're ready to bread the product. The second way to do genuine broaster chicken, in local markets, we align ourselves with local poultry producers that do a pre-marinated product in our taste profile. I'm in Minnesota today. In this neck of the woods, we have partnered with Golden Plump. Golden Plump makes a, a product ca called Chick Eye Plus for us. Again, Chick Eye is the name of our marination. What's also nice about the Golden Plump product is it is already cleaned and trimmed. So all the messy work and all the trimmings that you would be throwing away is already done for you which makes it very nice. And then from there, we go right on to the breading process. When we're talking about breading, breading is a really harsh term for what we are doing. It is more of a very light dusting. I took the liberty of breading this ahead of time, which we do ask you to do with our program. When it comes to breading, we have everything from power tumbler breaders to breading stations, right down to the Rubbermaid tubs that you can just drop in, pick up, turn the other side, drop down, pick them up and slap them together and that is nicely dusted or breaded. We ask you to bread roughly 20 to 40 minutes ahead of time and there's a, a several reasons for that. The first reason is, is it's a messy process. You might as well get it over in your prep instead of worrying about it every time you need to cook a load and trying to bread and drop. The second reason is, is the breading, as you see on, on this piece, literally tacks up, almost become translucent. It's just that little of a dusting of breading on there. Matter of fact, in the breast, which is the biggest piece, there are only five carbs. There's such little breading on our product. But you can see it tack up. That's good for a couple reasons as well. Now, not only did our marination flavor the protein or the meat to the bone, it is actually driving the taste profile of the breading now. So it has seeped through and flavored the breading. Also with the breading tacked up like this, we get very little fall off during the cooking process. So we're promoting longer shortening life as we're cooking. Okay, once our prep is done, let me introduce you to the broaster.